it's a, it's a love story like none other you're about to hear about. <laughs> we joke, we laugh, and we're having a good time here, but these are absolutely two of my favorite people <laughs> on the planet. So of course, you all know uh, Amy Robach and her husband here, Andrew Shue, who's a dear, dear friend as well. Well, uh, even though they're having fun here and they can smile and laugh and hug and kiss, these are two folks who got together, both divorced, and also she had two girls, he had three sons, and that family came together. And then TJ and Amy came together. Uh, these are just some of the clips that TJ Holmes would probably like to have back to age very well. He and his Good Morning America co-host, Amy Roback, by all accounts, carried on a torrid and not so secret, at least among their co-workers, affair while married to other people. Nobody seemed to care until the Daily Mail exposed it, including pictures of their canoodling. Now they're off air pending an ABC investigation, both of them. It's, of course, very different treatment than MSNBC's Joe and Mika, who carried on a similarly well-known but not discussed affair for years while they were both married. Then they got divorced and got married to each other. Robert Patillo posted, somebody explain to me the difference between T.J. Holmes and Amy and Joe and Mika. Why has T.J. been demonized and suspended from his show, but Joe and Mika are the faces of MSNBC? Robert's here, civil rights attorney, friend of the show. All right, answer your own question, my friend. Well, you know, I think it's a clear double standard that we're seeing when it comes to interracial relationships. I, I know many of us thought in 2022 this would no longer be an issue, but it clearly still is. T.J. Holmes and Amy Robach, they did not violate any law. Nobody's been accusing them of sexual harassment or sexual assault. Uh, we haven't seen any workplace policy that says that this is inappropriate to date people at work. Should they have done it? Probably not. Uh, but these are workplace well, relationships well, to, that to, happen. To be, and we, and to, be, to be fair, hold on. To be fair, though, Cheating on your spouse is not a good look. All of us in television have, uh, and it's wrong. Mm -hmm. she is, all of us, clause. all of us have moral clauses in our contracts. If you bring discredit or dis, dis, disrepute upon the network, uh, that is a fireable offense. And you say about interracial couples. So are you saying they're also punishing Amy for this reason? I'm trying to figure out how race plays a role here. Uh, well, I, I, let's look at the analogy between them and Mika and Joe. They're literally the exact same thing, but instead of uh, we're seeing news articles uh, in the gossip uh, sphere calling T.J. Holmes a cheater, we talk about a torrid affair, this that, and the other, it's a workplace romance and that happens. And I, I think the fact that we are playing this up to the point that every gossip blog in the country is demonizing these individuals, I don't think we can ignore what the only uh, other factor is in it. And, and look, I'll give you another example. Let's look at uh, Bill Cosby, for example, and then Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein. Bill Cosby and Harvey Weinstein did very similar things. Every episode of The Cosby Show has been pulled off of television. Nobody has said we're going to pull every uh, movie Harvey Weinstein has well, made. That's a, that's off a, of the it's a little different. Okay, it's a little different than being on air and off air. I may have been with you uh, up up with with TJ and Joe and Mika. The other part part about TJ Holmes is is that he's accused also of having affairs with people who were subordinate to him with with his producers. There there is policies against that. There are issues about that. Uh, is it if they're still being paid their salary, they're pulled off the air for for an investigation for some point. Uh, would you have a problem if in, in a month they're put back on the air after the investigation either does or doesn't clear them? Well, uh, my question would be, what exactly is the investigation into? Uh, well, if it's, if exactly it's, in, if it's into T.J. Holmes having affairs with other people that were perhaps his subordinates, which that's been widely reported that he did, that that's a real issue. There are policies against that. Now that that absolutely would be a, an issue in an employment policy, particularly if it's uh, if it's articulated or if it's been complained upon that he used his position of power to pressure his subordinates, something along those lines. But none of those accusations have been made. We didn't hear anything about him having affairs with other coworkers until after this uh, Daily Mail article. So I, I'm trying to find out from the the media in general why exactly this becomes a story because we saw the well, we respect all, okay, for marriage. Okay, okay, come on, if, you, if you're on television and you are are in people's lives, the gossip columns are going to write about you. And if you happen to be married and sleeping with your co-anchor, uh, then the gossip columns are going to write about you. It doesn't matter whether you're red, blue, purple, dinosaur, uh, black, white, green. That, that's just the way life is. I mean, that's what the life of celebrities are, right? How's that unfair? Well, well we, we've seen the Joe and Mika analogy, for example. That's been written of as a love story. Two people who met later in life, who uh, figured out they wanted to have a change in direction, and they have suffered no negative consequences as a result thereof. You put this, uh, you change just one uh, one modifying factor, and suddenly you have a demonization of these individuals. Uh, we've had the respect for marriage that had to be signed into law in the last week, because for some reason in America, this question of interracial relationships still percolates up to the point that we felt the Supreme Court might over 
overturn the loving decision and we needed federal legislation to address it. So I don't think there's anything wrong with addressing the elephant in the room, particularly given the current uh, state of situations. I think the ABC executives need to explain what exactly they are investigating. If you're saying that. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.